The winner of the College Football Fan Index category for the best quarterback is Alabama with Tua Tugavailoa. And the best thing about Tugavailoa is that he was virtually unknown to outsiders and casual fans until he lit it up on the biggest stage at the national title game. And with his prolific and stellar year as a full-time starter, pro teams you know will be salivating and tanking for Tua. But cool your Jets, Giants fans. Tua is not going to be available until the 2020 draft. The 2019 draft, though, not really something to salivate over. We've been ridiculously spoiled with the level of quarterbacks that have come out and been game ready. Some are going to be franchise players and faces of the league for years to come. Goff, Wentz, Mahomes, Watson, Trubisky, Mayfield, come on. This level of talent in such a short span is something incredibly rare and not something that we should get used to. And because of how early QBs have been leaving for the draft, the pipeline of college quarterbacks that will excel on Sunday is dry and scouts are frankly terrified and that's not hyperbole one scout said there's maybe maybe three quarterbacks that are intriguing quote unquote but they all have issues justin herbert out of oregon drew Locke from missouri and auburn's jared stidham and herbert might stay adding to the 2020 draft class and if he does things get real bad real fast for teams that are searching for their next qb which means the 2019 season will be one like 2011, where teams sucked for luck, or in this case, tanked for Tua. So while Nashville may be a great atmosphere for the draft, do not get your hopes up that we'll bring the same level of drama and excitement that we've become accustomed to in the last three years. We asked Fox Sports analyst Joel Klatt for his take on this year's QB class and why NFL scouts might be cringing. When it comes to the draft class out of this crop of quarterbacks in college football, it's going to be really hard to live up to what we saw a year ago. So this year, you do not have that deep of a core at the top end of the draft. But what I'm expecting next year in the spring for the NFL draft is a guy like Justin Herbert to really uh, crawl up boards because people are going to fall in love with the fact that he's a big frame, he's agile, he's mobile, and yet he's got a cannon for an arm. He's kind of got a Josh Allen-esque arm, maybe not quite as strong as Josh Allen, but he's certainly going to be the guy that I'm looking at that's going to be potentially the first quarterback taken. And then guys that have maybe not had the best seasons overall this year, but are going to be high prospects. Nate Stanley from Iowa, Clayton Thorson from Northwestern, and Drew Locke from Missouri, I think is going to be right up there. Jared Stidham hasn't had quite the year that you would have hoped for, but he'll be up there in terms of the evaluation. Uh, so overall, not quite the class that we uh, saw a year ago, but still pretty good. Uh, at the top end, I'd look for Herbert, though. Thanks, Joel. And make sure to tune in at halftime in the Michigan State-Nebraska game on Fox for next week's theme. And in the meantime, stick with Sports Pulse, your heartbeat to what's trending in sports.